coming to you all the way from Norfolk, Virginia. Go on podcasts presents the experts. Beep, 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 beep. Turn on your computer. Dial up the web. Download some information into your head. It's Dr. John and Delilah. They're having a great time. A dad had to do it simply true. We're the experts. And we're recording and intro music, intro music, intro music, and hi there. Welcome to The Sexperts. I am your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. And I am Delilah Haydair, uh, canceled celebrity chef. That's right. And I'm sorry that you got canceled, but we... That's not That's not what that means. Oh, was that? I'm a chef to canceled celebrities. <laughs> Just got back from making uh, Louis C.K. a delicious brunch. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, I, yeah, I did not know what that that meant. Uh, but, uh, let's let's come back to that. Uh, we are the Sexperts. Uh, we have been the Sexperts for over I don't know a combined hundred years. Don't know if you noticed at all, but thanks, thanks for that. Uh, but we uh, we are experts in sex. Uh, we know the ins, the outs, the ups and downs, the left, right, north, south, east, west. You got the questions. We got the answers. Uh, yeah, as long as they're of a sexual nature. Yes. Don't don't come at us with no math. Don't come at us with no geography. No, and don't ask the difference between a, a PC and a Mac. I think I have a PC. It's about all I got. Boys have a penis. Girls have a PC. That's all I know. <laughs> now, even that's confusing because it mixes sex and computers. But uh, mm. uh, we're coming to you live every week uh, from a different location. I'm well. <laughs> I'm. We, still, we used to. We used to. I'm locked in my bunker, uh, quarantining with my lovely wife Mildred, who is still in an iron lung. There's no vaccine for polio either. And I'm actually on the back of a motorcycle, uh, one of Louis' motorcycles, um, heading over to Ryan Adams' place to uh, make a frozen lasagna. <laughs> No wait, Ryan Adams. Uh, okay, all right. I'll. I'll... <laughs> I thought you maybe were gonna say like Bill Cosby or somebody. I guess he's in prison. No, he's uh, he's eating prison food. <laughs> I'm. Good he's point. welcome to hire me to send him a care package. <laughs> oh God. Okay. But I can't actually bring a meal. I I don't know if I can support this this job of yours, Delilah. I I. I you know how long it takes to cook a frozen lasagna? It's gonna be awkward. You know what else is awkward? <laughs> You're like supporting these canceled people. Well, they got to eat. Okay. All right. Um, you, know what's, you know what's not canceled? What? Their appetite. Oh, God. I, I don't even want to talk about this anymore. Uh, but I do want to talk about the topic of the day. Uh, this one, I, I got, you know, I was looking, I looking at the Huffington Post. I was looking at a bunch of articles online. And they really try to like bait you into clicking on some of these titles. And our numbers. Bait. What is it? Clickbait. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, I didn't know it was called something, but um, I felt bad because our numbers have been dropping recently because of uh, pandemic. So I'm going to have a very clickbaity um, title here. Um, so the topic of the, the day is the one surprising thing about glory holes. So we're going to talk about the one surprising thing that you didn't know about glory holes. And hopefully people want to go seven deep. What do you mean? Like seven surprising things about glory holes. I wasn't planning on it, but fuck it. Yes, our topic of the day is seven surprising things you didn't know, but now you will know about glory holes. And we'll get to it in just a little bit. But I do want to get to our um, our guest. A uh, welcome. Hi there. Good evening. Tis I, the Apple Wizard, and I've put a curse on both of your orchids. <laughs> Whoa, slow your roll, I think the kids say. Um <laughs> So you're the Apple Wizard. What um do you have Pretty a name? Aggressive, bro. Do you have a name or just the Apple Wizard? The Apple Wizard will do, or you could call me Dr. Apple Wizard. I so, said uh is that PhD or you got your medical degree? I've got a doctor economics. A doctorate in economics. <laughs> wow. Um, so what? What's back up? What's this curse all about? And why? What do we do to you? Well, the curse affects both of your orchids. The apples produced from your orchids will not taste as sweet as normal apples. Brutal. In fact, <laughs> they'll be like sand unto your tongue. <laughs> Uh, yeah but what what the hell did we do to you i feel like this is undeserved <laughs> i feel like no, no one knew we had orchids no one feels they deserve the apple wizard 
That's what makes my curses so special. I do want to. <laughs> Sorry, I, I think I got a little blindsided. I. I, I let you on the guest. I, I booked this one this week because I thought you were going to talk about uh, Apple computers because I was confused about Apple versus PC, but I guess it's literal apples. Yes, and I am a literal wizard from Arthurian times. Okay, I, I can't tell if this is your accent or <laughs> I'm, I'm not getting the word right, but you said <laughs> Apple orchids and not orchards. or Orchards. <laughs> or- you you guys pronounce it with a chuh? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's, for some reason, I want to get to our topic of the day pretty quick because I want to hear your perspective. Uh, and I was kind of throwing it back a little bit. But let's talk about the seven surprising things you didn't know about glory holes in the pandemic. Talk about how this guy gets around. What do you like, mean? How did you find us? What's your mode of transportation? Do you fly? <laughs> yeah, good question. Whenever the first apple on the orchard grows for the new apple season, that apple contains a seed of me, and from that I sprout and curse the orchard. So that's, that's how I got here. So where are you right now? Whose orchard are you in? And why are you, why are you making me second guess the way I pronounce orchard? <laughs> I'm splitting time between each of your orchids. <laughs> Every time you say orchid, I can't take you seriously. You sound like a very uh, malicious, like, uh, uh, would you say you're a sprite or like, um, what are you? Oh, no. no. I'm, I'm a wizard. Like a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> but describe, I... how did you get to look like you? Like, I saw the Star Wars movies, like, when Emperor Palpatine, he, he used his powers, he started, like, how how do you look like a, a fucking 3,000 years ago when the first orchid bloomed in England near the Thames? That is when I was born. I sprouted from the ground and immediately got into a fight with Merlin. Oh, wow. As a baby? Yeah. <laughs> did you Did you cry? Did you win? Did you win? No. I was born with all the memories that had grown through the fields uh, and all the knowledge of the men of England. No, that makes sense. Also, your pronunciation of the Thames. Uh, we'll, we'll get past that. Okay. Um, so uh, you, that makes sense. So you're 3,000 year years old. That's why. Because I just figured you didn't really moisturize. You're looking kind of kind of wrinkly, kind of pale. But I guess if I was 3,000 years old, I'd, I'd look the same. So you kind of look good for 3,000, I would say. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, see? Sweet talk will not remove the curse from your orchid, though. <laughs> no, I think I'm going to have to disagree. I think, uh, in uh, Delilah, I think in order to kill this wizard, we're going to have to kill him with kindness. So, in fact, we are going to compliment the mother F out of you. Okay? So, not only does your skin look good for a 3,000 year old, I also like your hair. I mean, there's a few strands kind of coming out of your little wizard hat there, but I love the color. I like a wizard with a fat ass. Yeah, show us your ass. You qualify. Oh, my God. Look at that dump truck wizard ass. Woo! That's a badonka donk. We should call you Dr. Dumper. We call it an apple bottom. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, and um, look at that silk robe. Is that silk robe? What's that pattern on there? Oh. But seriously, guys, it's it's really just nice to be talking to somebody again. You know, I've been kind of cooped up lately, and yeah, let's, let's haven't really between, seen anyone in a while. Between seasons, <laughs> yes, the fall is coming. Soon we'll all be going dunking for apples. <laughs> Um, okay, if for some reason, dunking for apples makes me think of uh, the seven surprising things you didn't know about glory holes during the pandemic, because it is the safest way, uh, the safest method of receiving and giving sex in the pandemic. Do you have do you have a conflicted feelings about your role in society, given the fact that a lot of people are facing food shortages and hunger right now and you're ruining apples? <clears throat> Good question. Good question. No, I... I I take no responsibility for the curses upon the orchids. 
but you're the I one placed. who you're the one who placed them there. That's yeah. true. That's true. That's a fact. But do you not listen. have free will? Could you not? Could you not remove all the course, course, curses? Why have you made me question my whole <laughs> language? Could you not remove all the curses on all the orchards of the world and mm-hmm. and let people pick and eat from them freely? We all have our own part to play in this game of life. Mine is to curse the orchids. Now is not the time, sir. We are in a pandemic. Yeah. There are 20 million people out of work, and you are just shitting on apples? You know, if you're... dessert. Mm -hmm. If your apple orchid isn't working for you, you should pivot to pears. Pivot to pears? Are your powers no match for pears? (laughs) Excuse me? Are your powers no match for pears? Uh, that's, That's the domain of the pear wizard. There's a pear wizard? Is There's there a wizard for everything? You say that like oh. it's we can we can just nimbly shift. We gotta grow a whole goddamn tree to get pears. We've been well, working on these apple orchards for generations. My grandfather toiled in these apple orchards. Seems like you had a pretty apple heavy portfolio. Maybe you should have diversified your fields better. I uh, this is uh, I don't even like fruit to be honest. I, I don't like apples. I I I I don't. I'm sorry. Well, why did you make an orchid? I don't think I did. I just I you're telling me I have an orchard or orchid. I don't know. An orchid's a flower. I, I'm not I'm not quite sure on this. And but now Delilah, you actually have an orchard? I didn't know this about you. Of course. I inherited it from my great great grandfather, Haydare. Okay, okay. Well now it's kind of making sense. So it's all Jebediah, your fault. Jebediah Haydare. It's all your fault, Delilah. You're, it's all your fault that Dr. Apple Wizard is cursing us. It's my. I didn't do anything. This isn't some karmic, like repercussion of some transgression that I that I or my forefathers made. Is you're, it? It's just you're, you're just. No, you're dick. right. You're I'm just like a, a shark. If, if I bite you, it's just it just happens. Wow. Okay. I mean, y- you know, you can you can change. Can't you change, Doctor Apple Wizard? Can't you can't you go a little out of the ordinary? Delilah had a great point. It's a pandemic. Times times are times are tough for everyone right now. Do we really need more curses? Do we not? <laughs> I would say yes. I would argue yes. I would say the curse of the pandemic is probably a really bad curse, and to curse somebody on top of that already horrid curse it is is awful. Doctor John, as I've said before, I'm just doing what I know how to do. You know who That's also true. said that? The Nazis. Just following orders. You know. They were also called wizards. <laughs> or neo Nazis are. Wait. wait. <laughs> Grand wizards. Okay, no, that's 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 too far. That's too far. You know, funny fact about those guys. <laughs> not actually wizards. <laughs> <laughs> Another good point. Listen, wow. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. What's what? What is? What are the qualities? The minimum qualities one must ask, attain to be considered an actual wizard. Yeah, because so far all you told us is to be a wizard, you have to sprout from a berry or some shit. Am I? Am I a sexual wizard? Is your sex like magic? Uh, you have to ask my partners, but I think they'd say yes. <laughs> well. Really, you have to be able to do a spell, um, such as cursing orchids, uh, growing yourself completely from the fruit of a tree. That would qualify you as a wizard. Um, the ability to shoot lightning from your fingertips. Wait, you can shoot lightning from your fingertips? Uh-huh. Show us. Lightning bolt. Oh my god, holy crap. It was very silent too. Do you have to say lightning bolt to like command it to come out of your fingertips? Yes. Yes, you always say the name of your spell. For instance, when I arrived at your orchids earlier this afternoon, I looked at the trees, pointed my fingers, and said Curse. God <laughs> Um, so if you were to uncurse them, how would you do that? Well, First, you would have to uh, complete my challenge in order for me to lift the curse. What's your I'm ch- here. Yeah. I'm ready. <laughs> We're ready for your I'm challenge. I'm like the gladiator of curses. <laughs> okay. Are you talking about American gladiators? 
Are you talking about the one with uh, Russell Crowe? Oh, good, good. Are you fairly? Are you fully certain you wish to embark down this path? Yeah, I, I don't think I have an orchard, but I, I think I want to be uncursed. And I, I want to feed one. my neighbors. Yeah, so bring it, bring it. What's the challenge? What do we do? In order for me to lift the curse, you must answer these riddles three. Ah, I am so good at riddles and highlights magazines. Go. I like I like things in threes. Mm-hmm. And listen, since I cursed both orchids at the same time, I'll only do three riddles for, and it'll count for both of you, rather than doing six riddles. <laughs> That way Is this like who wants to be a millionaire where we can call a friend? <laughs> well, I mean, guys can work together, sure. Okay. Oh, this is good. Teamwork. All right. All right. Are you ready for your first riddle? I am. I am. I got Google up right here. Go for it. All right. I am seven and eight and nine and two. Together, what am I? Uh, that's twenty six, right? What, it, what? I was gonna say seven thousand eight hundred and ninety two. Um, yeah, but it's gotta be a number though. Which one do we want to go with? That's a number, dumbass. <laughs> no, twenty six is if you add up the numbers, it adds up to twenty six. Right, but if you they're if they're all separate digits, then it's now I don't forgot what numbers they were. Seven eight so nine two. two. Seven thousand eight hundred and ninety two. Right. You're you're both right. I would have accepted either answer. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Woo! All right. One down, that, two to go. Let's do it. That was but the first riddle. Yeah. It wasn't really Make a riddle, though. It was harder. more of a math problem. Children, but... fill the buckets with water. We're bobbing tonight. <laughs> Don't you mean dunking? Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this Ar- second riddle. Arthurian <laughs> language is very confusing. <laughs> go second for it. Riddle. Uh, I am crisp and also sweet. An apple. Sometimes I'm. Re- Let me finish. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, it's. Hold let's on. move on to the third no. one. I could have pivoted. Listen, <laughs> let me finish. <clears throat> Second riddle. I am crisp and also sweet. Sometimes I'm green, sometimes I'm red. My meat can sometimes be sour, and you can turn me into a pie. <laughs> what am I? You know, if it wasn't for the red one, I might have gone pear. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's yeah. very close to a that's, pear. That's true. I think we're still sticking with our original answer of apple. Final apple. answer. You are correct. Yes. Two for two, baby. God, yeah. I feel like the Michael Jordan and Scottie Pippen of apple riddles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Third riddle goes a little something like this. You can grow me from the dirt. And if you get enough of me in one area, my trees are called an orchid. Now, I grow on these trees. What am I? <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually... I, there's I didn't, too many possible answers. I didn't, I didn't follow that one, Delilah. Do you have an answer? Or? He just He just described... Something that could be an apple, could be a pear, could be a peach. But I, I, th- be I thought the answer was going to be an orchard. But then he said the word size, orchid inside the the riddle. Any medium sized pitted fruit, honestly. Yeah, I. Pitted or seeded. So well, this. What I, is your answer, Delilah? Well, we st- we still have to. Uh, he could be tricking us. It could be apple again. It's like a it's a mind trick, like. You know, like when you're on a test, uh, multiple choice, you don't want to do C twice because it can't be C twice, right? Can you use it in a sentence? What grows in an orchid? All right. I, Delilah, do you want to go with apple? I'm going to put this on you. Jesus. What if it's pear? I, it can't be pear, right? He's an apple wizard. He's Dr. Apple Wizard. Why would he have a riddle about a pear? Why would he have such a damn gener- generic riddle that could be anything? Riddles should have one answer. You either know it or you don't. Not have to guess between possible right answers. God, uh, this is for all the apples. Um Let's we'll just go with it, Delilah. All right. All right. Three, two, one. Pear. Apple. But they're both correct. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. So we the curse is lifted, right? Well, hold on, hold on. Uh-huh. I, let me uncurse. Oh. Now it's lifted. Oh, okay. 
I don't feel any different, though. I don't think I ever had an orchard anyways. Trust me. Your apples feel different. Okay. Speaking of feeling different. Oh, yeah. Let's get to our uh, topic of the day, which is seven surpri- seven surprising things that you previously didn't know but now will know about guys, Glory Holes in the Pandemic. Have you ever gone fishing? Uh, why, why do you s- – no. Well, yes. well, I mean, the curse is lifted, so I guess we could talk about anything other than, you know, I don't have to talk about apples anymore. You know what? Okay, I'm I'm a, I'm a pretty good fisherman. Listen, I'm tired of all this talk, all right, Dr. Apple Wizard. I, I just, I'm, I'm through with it. I like you. And actually, going fishing like is a great idea. And I say, let's not finish this topic, and let's just go fishing. Can, can we do fly fishing? Because there's a stream near my orchid. What do you think, Dr. Apple Wizard? I'll fish any damn way you guys want to fish. All right. Well, uh, we'll put the rest of this episode up online so you can actually click on the clickbait title and yada, yada, yada. Uh, sorry we didn't get to the topic, but we, we, we're going fishing. Gone fishing. We'll put that on our website, uh, <laughs> angelfire.com slash celeb slash sexperts. All right. So uh, that's it for the sexperts. Uh, I am your host, Dr. John T. Alanese, SCPM. And I'm uh, Delilah Hader, and um, I am going to be making homemade ice cream for Sarah Silverman. See you sex time. Beware, beware the winds of October. They blow through your orchid. Orchid. <laughs> Don't have to do it simply true. We're the sex birds. That's our show. If you like what you heard and you think it was worth a dollar, join the official Sexperts fan club at patreon.com backslash sexperts podcast. A special thanks to the Push Comedy Theater and all of our supporters. Bye-bye.